Hello, English learners. Welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco, and I'm Erica. And today we're bringing you again the great series. I'm sorry, I love you. Part six, the newest installment in the English Pod soap opera, <laughs> drama, romance, love, <laughs> tragedy, <laughs> all of it here at English Pod and and in our series. So today we have a really great dialogue. I, I I just can't believe what's happening here. <laughs> But before we get into it, we need to preview one word. That's right. So let's take a look at it in vocabulary preview. Vocabulary preview. Well, we're gonna preview this word: sleeping with. Sleeping with. Sleeping with someone. Sleeping with him. Yes. So it seems pretty easy. I mean, sleeping with it just sounds like you are in. Bed with somebody. Yeah, but you are doing a little bit more <laughs> than sleeping. All right. So, so in English, this phrase actually means that you are involved with someone and have an intimate sexual relationship, right? Yes, you are in a relationship with someone and you are having sex. Exactly. So be careful how you use it because I know that sometimes you want to translate and just say, "Well, they are in the same bed together," but it's not that they're having sex. Right. So. Most of the time in English, the phrase "sleeping with" means sex. Right. Okay. Sleeping with. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> well, let's find out why are we talking about sleeping with? <laughs> well, obviously, somebody is sleeping with somebody. So, let's listen to the dialogue, and then we'll come back and talk about.、It. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you've been sleeping with someone else. How could you do this? You know what? I'm out of here. Wait, <laughs> doctor, how is this possible? I haven't cheated on my boyfriend. I have something to confess. I'm sorry, Veronica. I lied. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? I lied. You aren't even pregnant. There's no bun in the oven. I was just so overwhelmed with jealousy that I couldn't help myself. Veronica, I love you. What are you talking about? Who, who are you? It's me, Daniel. Don't you remember me from high school? I sat behind you in science class. I used to go to every football game and watch you in the cheerleading squad. You are insane. We never even spoke. Why did you lie like that to my boyfriend? Because Veronica, it's not fair. I love you. I have since the first day we met. Everything was going fine until that jerk came into the picture and ruined everything. I went to med school and became a doctor for you. You always said how you wanted to marry a doctor. You will be mine now, one way or another. <gasps> I heard everything, you lying bastard! Get your hands off of her! <gasps> Scandal again. Ah,、uh, this. Poor Veronica and Stephen. I just I don't know how their relationship could get more complicated. It's amazing. They're having an amazing、uh, adventure in their love life. I'm sure glad my love life looks <laughs> nothing like this. <laughs> All right. So we saw some really great words. So let's take a look at them in language takeaway. Language takeaway. The words we're looking at now are about feelings.、Mm -hmm. And so let's take a look at the first one. Confess. Okay, confess. To confess. To confess. So confess. What does that mean? When you confess something, you you tell a secret that you've been hiding. Okay, so that's pretty easy. So you have a secret and you want to tell it to someone, so you are confessing. Yeah, and it's usually something negative. Negative.、Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. So Marco, I confess that I stole five dollars from you. Oh, you did. Yeah. Sorry. Ah,、oh, okay. No wonder my wallet was <laughs> lighter. Yeah. All right. So confess.、Mm. I shall not forgive you for this. <laughs> oh no! All right, let's take a look at our next word. 
Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. So when I am overwhelmed, I am filled with emotion. Okay, with emotion.、Mm-hmm. It can be good emotions and bad emotions, right? Yeah, but you just you feel too much. It's like you're 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 going to explode. Okay, I am overwhelmed with joy. Yes, or I'm overwhelmed with work. And I am overwhelmed with jealousy. Like this guy, right? And that's our third word: jealousy. Jealousy. So this is interesting because jealousy is the noun. That's right. It's the feeling of being jealous, which is the adjective. Which is the adjective. So, what does it mean when you are jealous? It means that you you see somebody and you want what they have. Okay, you want what they have. Yeah. So in this case, the doctor is jealous of Veronica's boyfriend she, because the doctor wants Veronica. Okay, jealous.、Mm-hmm. So, so Erica, are you a, are you a jealous wife? Um, I don't know. Maybe a little bit. A little bit. But I've never gone to the extent of telling someone that、oh. they're pregnant. <laughs> they're not. All right, jealousy. Okay, and let's take a look at our next two words, which are actually. Kind of insults, right? Yeah, they're not very kind words at all. Okay, but you got to learn them anyways. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Jerk. Jerk. He's a jerk. J e r k. Jerk. Jerk. So, what does it mean if someone is a jerk? A stupid and mean person. <laughs> <laughs> Plain as simple as that. Yeah. Stupid and mean. So, can a woman be a jerk? It's mostly male, but now it's becoming more common to to use with women as well. Okay, so I can say he is a jerk or she is a jerk. Yeah, but it is more common for men. Okay, and now let's take a look at our last word. You lying bastard. 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 Wow, this is pretty strong as well. Yeah, you got to be careful about this one.、Okay. This one is almost a swear word. <laughs> almost. Yeah.、So、like on the line. Yeah. So, what does it mean if you call someone a bastard? Well, literally, it means your mother and father were not married when you, when you were born. When you were born,、mm-hmm. exactly. So, it is a pretty big insult. Yes, a little bit, I guess. But but it doesn't really really mean that your mother and father、right. weren't married. Right. It just it means that you are a jerk. You're a jerk. You're, you're a really mean, big jerk. You're a mean person. A really mean person. So jerk isn't as strong as a bastard. Yes,、right? bastard is stronger. Okay, so you got to be careful when you throw that word in there, or how you would use it. And again, it's for men, right? Not for women. Yeah, you can't use this word with women. Oh, okay, that's. There's another one out there, but that will have to wait for another <laughs> English pod. Well, apparently, all of these words are just for men. What did we do wrong? I, Marco, I can't begin to tell you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's listen to our dialogue again, and then we'll come back and look at some great phrases. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you've been sleeping with someone else. How could you do this? You know what? I'm out of here. Wait, <laughs> doctor. How is this possible? I haven't cheated on my boyfriend. I have something to confess. I'm sorry, Veronica. I lied. <laughs> Wait. What? What do you mean? I lied. You aren't even pregnant. There's no bun in the oven. I was just so overwhelmed with jealousy that I couldn't help myself. Veronica, I love you.、Uh, what are you talking about? Who, who are you? It's me, Daniel. Don't you remember me from high school? I sat behind you in science class. I used to go to every football game and watch you in the cheerleading squad. You are insane. We never even spoke. Why did you lie like that to my boyfriend? Because Veronica, it's not fair. I love you. I have since the first day we met. Everything was going fine until that jerk came into the picture and ruined everything. I went to med school and became a doctor for you. You always said how you wanted to marry a doctor. You will be mine now, one way or another. 
I heard everything, you lying bastard! Get your hands off of her! All right, so great stuff. Jerk, bastards, all that good words going around. But we've also got some amazing phrases. So why don't we take a look at those now in Fluency Builder? Fluency Builder. All right, so in Fluency Builder today, we have three great phrases. Let's take a look at the first one. Bun in the oven. A bun in the oven. A bun in the oven. Okay, this is obviously an idiomatic phrase, right? right? Well, it could be literal as well, right? Like you could actually have a piece of bread in your oven. Right. Bun is a piece of bread yep. in the oven. But in this context, we're not using it. No. Um, it means you're pregnant. You're pregnant. So the baby is the bun. Yeah, and the oven is your stomach. Right. So you say she has a bun in the oven. Yes, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Okay. It could be difficult to understand if you don't really uh, have the explanation, right? You yes. Would, you would say, what? She has bread what? in the oven? Yeah, <laughs> a bun in the oven. Okay. Now let's take a look at the second one. Couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. So when you can't help yourself, you can't control yourself. Right. You... You did something, be- but you couldn't control it. You couldn't stop it. You couldn't stop it. Okay, so let's listen to some examples of how you would use I couldn't help myself because it's a phrase that you can use in many different ways, right? That's right. Let's listen. Example one. I just couldn't help myself. When I saw your car, I just had to buy it. Example two. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. I just started laughing. Example three. That cake was so good. I couldn't help myself. I ate it all. All right, perfect. Couldn't help myself. Easy. Now, the doctor, he couldn't help himself from lying to Veronica Mm -hmm. because he was angry that her boyfriend, Stephen, came into the picture. Came into the picture. To come into the picture. Okay, so what does it mean when somebody comes into the picture? Well, basically, you appear in somebody's life. You come into somebody's life. So imagine that your life is a picture Uh and somebody all of a sudden comes into it. So they come into the picture. They come into your life. Come into your life. Yes. So he's angry that Steven appeared into Veronica's life and they're in love and all that stuff. right? Yeah. All right, well, these are some great phrases, and why don't we listen to them again in context? So let's listen to the dialogue. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you've been sleeping with someone else. How could you do this? You know what? I'm out of here. Wait! <laughs> Doctor, how is this possible? I haven't cheated on my boyfriend. I have something to confess. I'm sorry, Veronica. I lied. (laughs) Wait, what? What do you mean? I lied. You aren't even pregnant. There's no bun in the oven. I was just so overwhelmed with jealousy that I couldn't help myself. Veronica, I love you! What are you talking about? Who... who are you? It's me, Daniel. Don't you remember me from high school? I sat behind you in science class. I used to go to every football game and watch you in the cheerleading squad. You are insane. We never even spoke. Why did you lie like that to my boyfriend? Because, Veronica, it's not fair. I love you! I have since the first day we met. Everything was going fine until that jerk came into the picture and ruined everything. I went to med school and became a doctor for you! You always said how you wanted to marry a doctor? You will be mine now, one way or another. (gasps) I heard everything, you lying bastard! Get your hands off of her. Okay, so Veronica's not pregnant. That was a close one. Yeah. Okay. Phew. 
Uh, actually, they're not married. So this is a very controversial topic, right? Yep. Being knocked up. Yes. Nice phrase. Nice phrase. So there's a lot of interesting phrases and, um, and, and ways you can talk about pregnancy. So if you're knocked up, you're pregnant. Right. So you could hear that in movies. It's yep. not really, I would say... A proper way of saying no. It's not right? that polite because right. it 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 gives you the idea that it was a mistake. Right. Mm. So you would say she got knocked up. Yes. Another common phrase is、um, preggers. Preggers.、Yeah. I heard this is a、uh, more Australian, right?、Mm, she's preggers, so she's pregnant.、Uh-huh. So it's actually a pretty interesting topic. I know that, for example, in Latin America. If a girl that's maybe in her early 20s、mm-hmm. uh, gets pregnant accidentally by her boyfriend,、uh-huh. usually the families expect them to get married. Really? Yeah, so it's kind of like should they get married, should they not? So、And、there's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. But it's different in other countries, right? Yeah. So I, I don't know, for you guys, what, what's it like in your country where, where you live? Is there pressure on the, the guy and the girl to get married? I mean, should Steven and Veronica get married in this situation? Or what about just living together?、Yeah. Or as they say, living in sin, right? Living in sin. <laughs> living together, living in sin. Yeah. So is it okay to just live together with your girlfriend or should you get married before?、Mm-hmm. This is a controversial topic, so we'll have a lot of different opinions. But it should be interesting. Yes. So visit our website and tell us what you think. EnglishPod.com. All right, guys. We'll see you there. <laughs> the English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Absurd, not logical. Ridiculous. To admit a fault or crime. Confess. Informal way of saying pregnant. Bun in the oven. State of being affected deeply in mind or emotion. Overwhelmed. A feeling of being supplanted. Apprehensive of losing affection or position. Jealousy. Very crazy. Insane. Destroy. Ruin. A cruel or unkind person. Bastard. To have a sexual relationship with someone who is not your husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Unfaithful. A person who is not who they seem, a person who lies. A fraud. A person who has a relationship with a married man or a married woman. A homewrecker. Dishonest behavior. Deceit. End a relationship with. Split up with. Listen to another person's conversation. Eavesdrop. Let's try that faster. A feeling of being supplanted, apprehensive of losing affection or position. Jealousy. Listen to another person's conversation. Eavesdrop. End a relationship with. Split up with. Informal way of saying pregnant. Bun in the oven. A cruel or unkind person. Bastard. Destroy. Ruin. To have a sexual relationship with someone who is not your husband, wife, boyfriend, or girlfriend. Unfaithful. A person who has a relationship with a married man or a married woman. A homewrecker. Absurd, not logical. Ridiculous. To admit a fault or crime. Confess. Very crazy. Insane. Dishonest behavior. Deceit. State of being affected deeply in mind or emotion. 
Overwhelmed. A person who is not who they seem. A person who lies. A fraud. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Confess. Barbara confessed to me that she stole the wallet. Confess. I have to confess something. I'm in love with you. Confess. I'm innocent. I'll never confess to this crime. Overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed with joy when I discovered my wife is pregnant. Overwhelmed. She is overwhelmed with sadness since her dog died. Overwhelmed. Don't be overwhelmed by all the work you have to do. Take your time. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You are a jerk. My sister had a boyfriend who was a real jerk. I don't mean to be a jerk, but can you leave my house? I couldn't help myself. When I saw that car, I had to buy it. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. I just started laughing. She couldn't help herself, and so she ate the cake by herself. I had a happy life until my mother-in-law came into the picture. Our company grew so much after the new CEO came into the picture. My life feels complete now that you came into the picture.